Welcome to Mirror Sphere. This is Danny, your host. Well, it's done, guys. The Last of Us Part 2 is out, and people are seeing the shit it is. And right now, the user score is 1.8. 1. 1.8. It'd be a lot worse if, you know, you, you could go put zero. They need to change that where there's a zero rating because this game deserves fucking nothing. Worthless piece of shit game. Must be nice knowing that they lied to you. Lied to you from the very beginning about what the story was going to be like. Then we had the sex scene that came out yesterday which blew up Twitter. Oh man, the memes. The memes are great. I made one that's pretty funny. I was going to put it on my uh, thumbnail. I hope you enjoy. This shows the absolute trash that game journalists are. If you still think that IGN and fucking Game Informer and all these fucking paid fucking shills care about games and the gamers who play them and try to save you money, no, they're paid. They have their influence. They have their access, as we might say. And they love to take it. They love that access. They'll take whatever they give. So, all those 10 out of 10s for the Metacritic. Oh, oh, it's good. Oh, watching the user score just go. <clears throat> it's going to be great. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, man. It must suck for fucking the people who worked on this game. I do. I feel bad for you. I think the graphics are great. I think... You know, I've seen what the world looks like. It looks amazing, but no matter what a game looks like, if the story is absolute trash, the characters are absolute fucking trash, and you fucking pander the shit, your game's gonna suck. So the graphic designers worked their ass off for six years, hoping to make a great game, a beautiful world. I'm sorry, guys. I really am. You work for a trash company under a trash piece of shit, Neil Drunkman, and now your name will forever be stuck to that fucking piece of shit game. I do feel sorry for you guys, and I've wanted to be a game designer in my life, but I just never did, and I'm glad, because right now the companies are fucking trash. There's so many companies out there that are absolute trash. Because they don't give a shit about the games or the gamers. What they give a shit is how do we microtransaction our games? How do we sell them? The, the the organizations behind the game. You know, there's a lot of game designers who care. I'm sure there are, but the problem is, is the people like EA and Naughty Dog and Bethesda and all these trash companies who once had great clout with the gamers and then they show their ass and try to scam us and when that happened the name of their company like Bioware was one of my favorite companies but after Anthem if they fucking lie to us then go to hell fuck you but you know luckily we have a couple companies out there who still give a shit and still care about their honor, still care about their the their name as gamer as a game company like Square. Most of the time Square does a fantastic job. If they make a shit game, they accept it. They say, you know what? Yeah, we fucked up. Our bad. And they'll try to fix it. And they don't try to sell us shit. And then you got fucking um God, what was her name? Sorry, my brain just went blank. <sighs> I blame Naughty Dog. <laughs> this shit is finally done. Now that people can see this game for truth, it's, it's good to watch. After they attacked us, uh, YouTubers tried to destroy people because they didn't want the shit to get out there that this game is absolute trash, and now it is. Um... Yeah, but, uh, no. It, it's garbage. Uh, fuck. The guys who made Witcher 3, I'm sorry, I just can't think of their name right now. It's Cyberpunk 2077 is delayed. 
unfortunately, but you know, they, I, I have trust in that company and I hope to God they don't, you know, that they make a great game. You know, people kept saying this is the game of the generation. Uh, you know, I've seen that all over fucking Twitter. You got all the fucking defenders and Naughty Dog going, this game's going to be the greatest game of our generation. No. Mm -mm. Cyberpunk 2077, bitch. Cyberpunk 2077 is going to kill. It's going to destroy everything that came out this year. It's going to wreck. I, I feel bad for anybody who's gonna, who plans on releasing their game around the same time because, dude... This game is going to rock. It's going to just dominate sales. I have a feeling. Because Witcher 3 was a fucking epic game. And they proven themselves to care about the, us, the gamers. To care about the reputation as a game company. And the games they, prom they promote and release. And I cannot wait to pick up 2077. But fuck you, Naughty Dog. You stepped in your own shit. I hope you, uh, you just, mm, I hope you roll in it for a while, you fucking piece of shit company. You did this to yourself. You had one of the best female game directors ever. And Neil Drunkman, Cookman, ran her out, took her position, and destroyed everything that company stood for. Destroyed everything. We used to love about Naughty Dog. Fuck you, man. Go to hell, drunk man. You piece of shit. Congratulations on making absolute trash. I cannot wait to see the reactions. I, I give it a couple days as people try to process how shit this game is. And when it gets out there. And fucking, oh, it's going to be great. Oh, I don't see drunk man staying as... You know, he's not CEO at all. So there's no way whoever is this CEO must be fucking livid right now. Just wait, wait till the CEO realizes how bad Naughty Dog's reputation is going to go down because of Neil Druckmann. Just watch. I have a feeling that uh, whoever's in charge and the stock the people who own you know stock in Naughty Dog and shit are going to be fucking pissed. All you had to do is make a great game. You had a fucking perfect game with the first one. Well, not perfect. It was decent. The story was... It's no Final Fantasy VII. It was... It had okay combat. It had... You know, Resident Evil level... You know, like old Resident Evil level shooting. It had a little bit of stealth. The, the level puzzles were okay. The story is what sold the first one. It was the characters. It was their love between Joel and Ellie. It was that building, how they became trusted each other, how they became almost family. And that's why people bought the first one. It wasn't the gameplay, it was story. And instead of making a, a second story that would be, you know, lifting and fun and maybe put some choices in there. Like a lot of companies that give you choices so that you don't have to be stuck to a single fucking story. That you actually can make a little bit of difference. Because gamers like choices in our games. Especially RPGs and these kind of story games. We want to be able to choose our own paths to the game. But no. No, he, locked, he locks you in. You know, they kill off Joel like fucking right away. So all the people who were so excited seeing Joel and Ellie again. Fucking done. Congratulations. Oh, strong black coffee. Mm, love it. Fuck you, Naughty Dog. Oh, I can't. I don't understand. All they had to do was make a good game. I I would be fucking pissed if I'm HBO because they're planning on making a Last of Us 2. Or not Last of Us 2, but a Last of Us TV show. Now they're stuck with this as the ending. They probably will abandon this show. They'll probably be like, no, we don't have the money. AT&T does not have money to waste on fucking shit TV. So we're going to see AT&T go, whoa, hold the brakes. I don't know. We're seeing Access Media just lose. Fuck. You know, I posted this. I don't know what I'm going to put as my um, 
thumbnail is what I posted on Twitter, and I have more retweets and likes on that than I've ever had before. Oh my god, it blew up, and I sent that shit to Naughty Dog, I sent that shit to Sony, oh, and I sent that shit to Drunk Man. Fuck you, man. Yo, oh, I hate, I cannot stand that they did this shit. You know, I'm not, it's, it doesn't piss me off as much as Anthem did, because, you know, what Bioware did with Anthem, those guys lie. Well, they both, okay. You know what? I'm pissed at both of them, because Anthem was an absolute lie, and so was this shit, because they would literally came out, and they show that little picture with their hand over the mouth, and it turned out it was an absolute fucking lie, because they had Joel's voice in the back saying, hey, hey calm down, girl, what are you doing? It wasn't him. It was a completely different dude. So, they unpurposely snipped scenes and voices together to throw you off, to think that this was a story about, about Joel and about Ellie and their, what they're going through. And instead, it becomes, fuck you, you now have to play as Abby and Ellie. Yeah. Congratulations, Naughty Dog. I hope this fucking bites you in the ass. I hope that sales go fucking plummeting. Because a lot of people don't buy games until after reviews come out. And I'm not talking shield reviews. I'm talking about review reviews. And they'll wait for that shit. And oh boy, this is getting good. I can't wait. Cannot wait to see Angry Joe's review of this game. That is shit's going to be fucking epic. I have a feeling he's going to be pissed and a shout out to Angry Joe you know he's one of the only reviewers I actually trust there's a very few reviewers the game reviewers I trust I know Angry Joe doesn't get he doesn't get the inside you know access you know he has to buy these games himself with his people he has to review them and he, most, I've never seen him give me a complete fake review ever I've never seen him bow for access so, grad, thank you, Angry Joe. If you see this video, I doubt it because I ain't got three, 33 fucking subscribers. But, hey, I love every single one of you guys who are subscribed to my channel. Thank you all for supporting me. And as I grow, you are my first. And hopefully, when I'm, if I ever grow up to, you know, 250,000, like fucking not, uh, Gary did with Neur Neurotic. By the way, congrats, man. I'm proud of you. You finally reached your 250K. Um, that, you know, it's been years. He took years to get bit like that, and I, I will build. I don't care how long it takes. I'm here to stay, guys. And my book is coming, and I hope I can't wait to guys to read it. And I'm gonna be around for a long time, hopefully. Unless you know, YouTube decides to shut us all down, then we'll all be fucked. But hopefully not. Hopefully we'll be here a very long time, and uh, guys. Please stay safe, stay healthy, stay angry as the Overlord says. Thank you all for coming. Please like, share, subscribe. Tell your friends. Get them down here. Bring them into the mirror sphere. This is a galaxy, a multiverse for all of us to enjoy. Thank you all. Have a good day.